Hello everybody, it's Chibi and Ben. How many wow. people do we just scare right now? I have probably too many. Probably also, too many. I whispered right after you told me I should soft speak. I got nervous. That's okay, that was nice. I figured I was going to be too loud. The transition was good. Okay, so Ben is off camera today just because it's easier. Um, I didn't want to stand for 20 minutes. I like standing when filming, but my I back. Can't. And my back does hurt. I make him stand on my back. Anyway, as much as Ben steals the show, this is not about you today. He's mm. a <laughs> he's a helper. Um, I had this idea because the last um, I've done a bunch of these videos where I'm like surveying you, slash, asking you really personal questions, really random questions, etc done a bunch of them, and my latest one, for some reason, I never deleted the questions. I have, like, a little document where I keep all of my scripts, and usually when I'm done, I'll delete it, because I don't really need them. For some reason, I never deleted these questions from the last one, and so I was wondering, maybe I should do a video where I answer my own questions. I do not remember these questions because it's been just long enough. And these are always just like, from my own brain, super random, all over the place. Sometimes I'll Google like, fun questions to ask your friends or something like that. And like that will, I'll get a couple questions from there and then I'll think of some more. But they're always just super random. I think there's a hundred of them. And I thought it would be easier to have Ben ask me the question and I'll just answer and it'll be a bit more like rapid fire fast paced some of like the like Q&A videos I've done it can be a little slow so this one I'm gonna try to do a little different and just have it be very back and forth not a ton of explanation which is what I'm guilty of a lot a lot of rambling which is good for ASMR but we're gonna try to be a little different today we have Ben we have the questions. Yes, we do. I'm a little scared. I don't know how personal these are, but I'm going to be honest, and um, I'll link the original video below, um, and you're more than welcome to follow along with these questions. So, let's get started. All right. Miss GBA Smart, on a scale of 1 to 10, how relaxed do you feel at this time? Four. It's a lot less relaxed than you were when you wrote this down last time. I do record because I type like your answer when I write these. So I'll write just like random things that I think they might answer. Those are not my answers at all. I was going to say, you have a different age. You must have lied to me about your age. Yeah, I just type random stuff. Mm. <laughs> okay, continue. So, are you down with crypto? No. How much of your YouTube time is ASMR time? 50%. What's a scene from a movie that lives rent-free in your brain? The first one that popped into my head was, Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. You're a monster. I'm not the monster here. You are. Take that as you will. Would you rather have one really great best friend or tons of regular friends? A really great best friend. How long does it take you to fall asleep? Uh, like 30 minutes. Which celebrity would you like to meet? I don't like to meet celebrities. <laughs> have you ever reconciled with a bully? No. How old are you? 26. Dog or cat? Dog. What's the first thing you do in the morning? Check my phone. Do you love chickens? <laughs> yeah. No, no. Love is a strong word. I like chickens. What's your favorite animal and why? You know, I got really excited to see an aardvark at the zoo. You did get very excited. I got, like, that was so cool. They're big. They're so big. Big. They're very snuffly. Big snufflers. Do you dip your pizza in ranch? No. 
What's a better feeling, scratching an itch on the bottom of your foot against something, or having someone else scratch your head? Having someone else scratch your head. What childhood memories make you smile the most? Um, making videos. My mom would help us um, when we were really young, and then just like a lot of like make-believe, play, like pretend, like all those like times. What fictional character made a big impact on your life slash personality? Fictional character. I mean, a big impact on my life? I feel like a lot of them are like pretty inspiring. Maybe Elle. What Disney prince or princess would you like to be and why? I'll be Rapunzel because she's got pretty good now. What hobbies or interests do you have that you are apprehensive to share? <laughs> what are my weird hobbies? You've kind of built a career on them, so. I know, like, I don't hide any of them, but I feel like I have some. I really like fan fiction. Cynthia dolls? I love dolls, yeah. The reborn dolls? Or the other? But again, I, I talked about those already in yeah. a video. Hmm. You're pretty good. What age do you think you'd finish school? Um, I thought I would be done at 22 or 21, whatever it is, when you graduate college. What colors do you associate with school subjects? So I did red for math, blue for English, green for science, and yellow for social studies. What's the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep? I really don't fall asleep in weird places. Ever. What's something simple that makes you happy in your everyday life? When the kitchen table is clean. If I money really slash happy. oh sorry. I get really happy. That's good. Is that a good one? The sink too. If money sir and circumstances were not an obstacle, would you move abroad? No. What's your favorite Taylor Swift album? I don't Very know. Very timely question. I don't think I can name a Taylor Swift album. Well, Taylor's version, it's gotta be Taylor's version. Well, is that the name of the album? I, don't think I think it's Red or something. Red just came out, but is that the album? No, that's a new album. I'm not sure. When did you realize your favorite food was your favorite food? I don't even know my favorite food. I like like a lot of like pastas and oh, I do love like ramen and stuff. Oh my god, but I can't have it that much. Mm. What's your favorite foreign dish? You know, it was so good and I wish I could have again. It's the like the cabbage pancake from in Japan. Um, Pokey just put it on her Instagram story and I was like, oh, that stuff is so good. It just reminded me of it. I had it one time in Japan. Have you ever had an aching in your neck from headbang? Yes. Me too. It was my That's first probably experience. why I wrote that question. Yeah, I bet, I bet you it was. Yeah. We, had, we were headbanging at a wedding. And long hair is, has its drawbacks. What do you tell everyone online, but not to your family? I don't know. I think your mom watches every video, so. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much assume whatever I say online, all of my friends and family will see. I, I operate with that understanding. Do you eat tacos right to left or left to right? Left to right. Like I'm like no, a front I to back. No, I do right to left. It's like, like a front to up, back. You pick up your taco, you start here, or you pick up your taco and you start here. Well, I do soft shell. So I know, but we're, front we're talking hard shell taco here for the left to right. 
You know what? I'm probably right to left. I'm probably right to left. What size butt do you wear? <laughs> Extra small. Extra small, okay. What's your favorite childhood show? Favorite? Like Spongebob. Like Spongebob is so good. What's one thing that makes you happy throughout your day? Um, like every time Satine comes up to me and then whenever, like, whenever you, like, pop your head in the door. <laughs> What's something you've done recently you're impressed with? I baked a, a mini pie. It was delicious. Who was your childhood crush? Like the, like the child that I had a crush on or when I was a child. Who was your childhood crush? I know, I know. It's because, like, I had, like, boyfriends and stuff when I was, like, in kindergarten. Um, I don't think that was the question you were going for. Like, childhood crush, you know? His name was Colin, and he wore cowboy boots. But that was the kindergarten boyfriend. You know? I had more going on. What's something you can't go a day without doing? Um. Going on Twitter. What's your favorite musical and why the Hamilton? Because <laughs> it's so good. It's so corny, but it's so no, it's so good. It's so good. What's the pettiest thing you've ever done? In kindergarten, once again, this girl. We had coloring sheets, and there was always one really cute one, and it was like a dog and a cat, and the other ones were kind of like eh, not that cute. So this girl, she was my kindergarten bully, took the sheets of all the cute ones and put them in her backpack. All of them. So like, w there was none left for anybody else. So I went back and I like, I stole them back out of her backpack. And I feel like that was pretty petty for kindergarten. In eighth grade, I was on the basketball team and this girl... I had like a fast break and I was going down and I was just gonna shoot an easy layup and this girl like yelled and pushed me like against you know so I like hit the mats and I was like what the, what the heck and then later in the game the same thing happened she had a fast break <laughs> so I did the same thing to her because I that is super petty of you of me to do right um, so I yelled and pushed her, and she sprained her ankle. Good riddance. <laughs> I did not mean to hurt her. Where's the body? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> what is your best impression? <laughs> no. I can't. Oh, I can do a really good Daisy impression. Is that cheating? Okay. Um, what was the question? What's your best impression? Hmm. Well, I think I can do a really good GB impression. Do you want to hear it? I'm very confused right now. Why are you all here? <laughs> it's late. We gotta film. Pineapple on pizza. Sure. McDonald's or Burger King? <sighs> McDonald's. Do you like art? Making it, yes. serving it, or both? I like observing art. I consume it. <laughs> What's the best compliment you've ever received? Um, anytime someone says that, I'm like genuinely funny. On a scale of 1 to 10, how addicted to ASMR are you? I'm like a 9. What's your favorite smell? Coffee. You wrote deviled eggs on this, and I wanted to say you're wrong for that. I know, I was just making myself laugh. What's the most evil thing you've ever done? <laughs> I had to take a second to think of this answer, but Ben and I have agreed. Um, long story short, Ben really liked me in college, and... Um, I like kind of liked him back, but was like being kind of evil about it and ended up getting back together with my ex-boyfriend and broke his little Ben heart. 
and then he got himself, he did the right thing and moved on and like wasn't dramatic about it and got a new girlfriend and then I just I knew that I made a mistake with my ex-boyfriend and decided that I really wanted to be with Ben and then um, I told him that and definitely had a decent amount with you breaking up with your girlfriend, right? You, you, you wouldn't have married her. <laughs> anyway, I was like mildly evil, but it wasn't... She was not very nice to you. So it wasn't great, but it, was, it worked out pretty well. It worked out in the end. Everyone's happy now. Everyone's happy now. Everyone is engaged now. We're married. I think both of our exes are engaged. I think it was more evil that I got back together with my ex. I think that's even more evil. You really did string me along for a while. I was texting him while we were watching Dallas Buyers Club. If you could dye your hair any color, what would you pick? Black. Your IQ, how many digits does it have? I hope three. What's a song lyric that is very attached to you? I can't decide whether this is one that like I think about a lot or if like it like attached to me as in it makes people think of me. I don't know. I'll just go non-stop. Why are you following GB for ASMR? I what was forced. Is, <laughs> what is your favorite video game? Hades. Who is the hottest food mascot? Oh, I mean, we all know it's Tony the Tiger. Where in the world would you like to be right now? On the couch with the fireplace on. What characteristics do you find most attractive in a partner? And why is it Ben's soft speaking voice? Um, when people are happy and nice and can easily talk about things, like not just like, not just between you two, but like about anything in the world, like if they're like, interested and willing to have like a happy conversation about stuff um that was that was actually the first thing i was like when i met ben i was like he's so happy like i just spent so much time with just miserable people like and he was like it really brings you down too where do you think you fall on the d d alignment chart Probably chaotic neutral. What is a bad habit of yours? Maybe lawful neutral. I don't even know. True neutral. Like, I feel like most human beings don't really... I don't know. Neutral good is that one. <laughs> I'd, I'd go for lawful neutral for you. You like to be, play by the rules. I do like to play by the rules, but don't you think the word chaotic kind of applies to me in general? Like, maybe not. Lawful chaotic breaks the system, but I think it fits you the best. What is a bad habit of yours? I don't put my food away when I'm done eating it. Do not. Definitely do not. What is something you can watch a hundred times without getting bored? Hamilton. Coming up on 100 next week, I think. If you had to eat a color, what color would you eat and why? Oh, purple. Do you, have any, do you have any anime manga recommendations that aren't as well known as they should be? Uh, oh, my favorite that's like not as well known is the Teasing Master Takagi-san. That's such a good one. What are your weirdest food combinations? 
Takis in the morning. Um, I mean, I'll eat anything right after another. Takis and Milano's has to be up there. Yeah, like I'll eat, I'll like be snacking on like two very different things. What is something that isn't illegal but should be? Um, backyard breeding dogs. If you could repeat one moment in your life, which one would you choose? Winning Anime Boston, Masquerade 2019. Our what, wedding. <laughs> what Yankee candle do you think would best represent your personality? I don't really know the flavors. You can make one up, it's probably a good scent. My personality, it's like, yeah, like cozy, chaotic. If there was a, a color and an adjective and a color and a noun. Purple, static. <laughs> okay. Did you start out watching ASMR as a joke? No. Are you allergic to lemon zest? No. What is the best color of eyeshadow? Red. What are you currently fixated on? It's a great question. I'm kind of in between. Last night I was on Google Maps for like four hours though. That was a lot. If you start an argument with your significant other, do you apologize first or wait for them to? We don't really like leave the argument. Like we don't really argue and then like fester about it and then like wait for someone to apologize. Like when's the last time that happened? I would, I definitely apologize when, whenever I think that I like was too much in any way. What are your ideal surroundings? Clean, cozy, and oh, like ambient lighting. I guess that's cozy. <laughs> warm, <What's> the, <laughs> warm. <laughs> what's the best album ever? Probably three cheers for Sweet Revenge. Do you prefer a sunny day or a rainy day? Sunny. What is your Spotify guilty pleasure? Um, I listen to... <laughs> I listen to a lot of like old like video game music covers or like the Team Rocket song from like the year 2000 Pokemon album that came out, like that kind of stuff. What is your favorite video from GB? Oh, wait, I also, I think your old guilty pleasure used to be the partner singing duets with Caleb Hiles. Oh, that's not Caleb Hiles, but... Well, Caleb Hiles, like, does, like, the video game covers, but that was a guy called, oh my gosh, he, like, looks like Prince Eric from Ariel and, like, Aladdin, like, had a baby. Um, what's his name? So that's on Spotify. Oh, that's true. I would watch him on YouTube and sing together with him, because oh, there's, like, nobody will sing with me, and it's so much fun to sing duets. Disney duet Aladdin sing along. Daniel Cause. Mm hmm. Daniel Cause. Thanks, buddy. Make Good some job. more videos. I think he's like gone. Yeah, he hasn't posted in years. Come back, Daniel Cause. Sing with me. <laughs> what is your favorite video from GB? The B movie, I think. It was just too much like labor of love and the fact that so many people like participated in it. Like, oh, I, it's gotta be. Do you do yoga or meditation? Um, I used to do a decent bit of yoga, like just like 10 minutes stretching and just make my body feel a lot better, but I haven't done it in a long time. Have you ever stolen anything? Your heart. What's your zodiac sign? Sagittarius, right? That's zodiac. Isn't that? Or is it like dog, like you're the dog? 
Amir the dog. I'm also a Sagittarius. Do you believe in love? Yes. How do you cope with being sad? Sad. I mean, sometimes I just like revel in the sad. I'm gonna like probably do something that I like to do, like online shopping. That's probably really bad, isn't it? It's a retail therapy, baby. <sighs> What is your bedtime routine? Um, just sit at my desk for as long as possible, reject going to bed, flounder around for a bit, take 40 minutes to wash my face because I'm watching TikToks, and then I will, like, I flounder around some more, put my chapstick on, get my jammers on, flounder around some more, then I get into bed, tell Ben to not turn the light off because I'm scared of the dark and he turns the light off anyway and then we, we watch TikToks I like save TikToks during the day I'll show him the ones I liked and then I put my sleep phones on and watch ASMR fall asleep Who is your comfort character and why? Oh, I have a lot of comfort characters like they all just make me happy Right now, it's Achilles from Hades, and Sagrius, and, um, like, Josuke and Okuyasu. Um, Rock Lee was, like, one of my original. Uh, like, I wouldn't call Alucard a comfort character, you know what I mean? But, it's, like, these are the ones that, like, just, like, make you feel good, and you're just like, oh, look at that. I had a lot growing up. If you could tell 13-year-old GB one thing, what would it be? You have ADHD. <laughs> what is your least favorite mode of transportation? Least favorite? I think you'd be incredibly hard-pressed to get me in a helicopter. That's very fair. How many times a day do you say the words scrumptious and spectacular in the same sentence? Oh my god, like 17 times. Have you been arrested for tax evasion? <laughs> no. Have you ever changed your opinion about certain food? Yeah. I used to say I hated cucumbers, but if I hated cucumbers, I would never eat them, and I eat them sometimes. Wait, Ben, would you rather go in a helicopter or a submarine? Something in a submarine is also really scary. I'd rather go in a helicopter. I'd go in either one, though. Okay. I don't know. Both of them are really scary. A helicopter is pretty, like, I don't know, it's pretty rad. But it's dangerous, but pretty cool. Yeah. Submarine, like, you can't really see anything. And you also, like, I don't even like, like, driving and like, the bridges that go underneath water. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. even that freaks me out. I, I, I'd like to go in a submarine once, just to be like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's a popular song you can't stand? Uh, honestly, anything that's like too upbeat. Is that, you know what I mean? Like if it's too much. But I, no, well, I love songs like, like, like the Eurobeat, like, like club, disco, rave, club. disco, love it. But if it's like, okay, it's like, what's a, That's like a meme. Um, top hits. I mean, I don't know. I like don't really listen. I have the weirdest like music tendencies ever. I don't like to listen to new music, so it's like. I mean, all the songs that I recognize, I actually like. So, I like Doja Cat and Lil Nas X, Billie Eilish. Like, I like all these songs. And the ones that I don't like, I just don't listen to. <laughs> Oh, Beggin. Oh my god, I can't stand that song. That song, Beggin. I don't know. It hurts me. Oh, I have a song. I have a song. I have a song. Cupid's Chokehold. 
Is there more to that? It's just like on this playlist that I really like to listen to and every single time Cupid Choco comes on it like ruins the whole thing. It's so annoying and like I, they overplayed it years ago and they're still playing it now. And I also hate the song Heads Will Roll. I hate that song. That was when you were I don't know why that one transcended time. Like I hated it when it was popular and people still play it. There. What household chore do you like doing the most? Are you currently responding to these questions out loud or in your head? That's a pretty meta question. Out loud. What's your most recent Google search? Tiny red dots around tattoo. I think my skin was getting a little irritated from the stuff that I was using. I got nervous. What was your most humbling moment? Oh my gosh, I just said that. I was just thinking about that. Okay, I remember what I was thinking about, but it's probably not my most humbling moment. I'm trying to learn a K-pop song for Nips's birthday, which is tomorrow when I'm filming this. This song is humbling me, I'll tell you that. Oh my god. I was like, oh, this is not that bad. Like, it's not that hard. Like, meh, 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 meh. Learning a song in Korean is so hard, and then the song itself is, like, technically hard to sing. And then I'm also trying to learn the piano, and I suck at, like, I can play, like, chords and things, but, like, learning, like, actual notes. This is humbling me. That is humbling me. The most recent thing to humble me. Probably not my biggest humble, though. What side of TikTok are you on? Recently, I've been on, like, the, like, food for thought TikTok. Like, people, like, posing. It's, like, a lot of, like thought provokers because I like them all the time because then I'll take them to Ben and then I'll like show him that TikTok and then we'll like talk about it. That's true. Do you sacrifice charging your phone at night to listen to ASMR? Yes. Which doesn't make any sense because my headphones are Bluetooth. Yeah, but still. Every time. <laughs> Is the door to you of oh, the room you're in currently locked? No, it's not locked. There is a baby lock on the outside for Satine. Vampires or werewolves? Vampires. Home stretch. You like jazz? Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how relaxed do you feel at this time? I'm probably up to a 6 now. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. Um, next question. We are constantly upgrading our procedures for our clients, improving personalization, etc. So I'm excited that you've returned. Each trip will be better than the last. A guarantee. And <laughs> the summer treatment. Fourth appointment. Tobias is on vacation. Did you name Tobias the Owl after a civil character? No, I just like the name Tobias. <laughs> you really do. You started to read my civil script. It's all in one document. How would you rate your state of stress, anxiety, or general overwhelmedness? <laughs> Question time on keyboard. Oh my god, we got more. How was your summer? I have to film more videos. <laughs> <laughs> my summer was good. How was yours? My summer was pretty good. It was a good summer. We really got out. We really got back out in the world. Thank goodness. Pew, pew. Um, have you kept your New Year's resolution since the last time I saw you? Um no. So I, I actually answered all 100. That was 100 questions. Yay. Okay, that was actually, that was kind of scary. Do you want to answer them next? Uh, sure. <laughs> 100,000 likes and Ben will answer every single question ever asked in any of my question videos. All right. Good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed um, this rapid fire. I feel like this was kind of nice, like the double voices. Um, obviously never done this before, like in this setting, so let me know what you thought. Otherwise, I hope you have a very relaxing evening, and I'll see you in the next one.